Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this very special Hornbill TV explainer. This is where we make sense of the news and everything that happens in the community across the world also. So this is where we explain all the various aspects of certain incidents and events from across the world. In the first week of August, the government of Nagaland announced probably the biggest or at least one of the biggest agricultural development programs in the state of Nagaland, palm oil cultivation. On August 5th, Nagaland launched a significant oil palm plantation campaign, which the government envisaged would one day make the state a major industry player in the palm oil industry in the Northeast. The government of India has reportedly earmarked more than 11,000 crore to encourage palm oil production in Northeast India. In January, the Nagaland government and Godrej Agrovet, a food and agriculture organization, signed a memorandum of understanding to start a nursery in Dimapur. The following month in February, uh, the yoga guru Baba Ramdev's company, Patanjali, signed a memorandum too. As part of the palm oil project, Naglin has been divided into two clusters. This is reportedly part of the National Mission on Edible Oils, Oil Palm Program. It is a central government scheme that was launched in 2021 with a special focus on the northeastern region. The first zone, assigned to Godrej Agrovet, comprises the districts Perrin, Chumugidima, Dimapur, Newland and Woka districts. The second zone that was assigned to Patanjali comprises Mukokchung, Longland and Mon districts. So ladies and gentlemen, what is palm oil production and what it is coverage for Naglin? Naglin now has about um, 5,423 hectares of land up from about 140 hectares in 2015. Earlier, under the National Mission on Oil Seeds and Oil Palm, the Naglin government had planned to cover about 1,200 hectares for oil palm uh, cultivation in three clusters. According to reports in the national media, it signed a memorandum with a company called uh, Shiva Size Oil Palm Private Limited. Uh, the report said uh, to be a company uh, based out of Iluru in Andhra Pradesh. The agreement was reportedly for procurement of palm kernel from the districts uh, Mukokchung and Woka districts. The company distributed saplings as part of the district agricultural department's mini mission. However, the memorandum was terminated in 2022 after the company allegedly failed to develop a processing unit. The extremely elaborate developmental agenda, ladies and gentlemen, the heavy financial support and the overall industry vision for palm oil production in the Northeast, however, continue to be very controversial and this is for two factors here ladies and gentlemen health issues linked with palm oil and environmental concerns surrounding palm oil um, let's check out the other countries france is the first country in europe to ban the use of what is called environmentally unfriendly palm oil in fuel other european countries such as germany Italy, Denmark, and Luciano are planning to impose restrictions on palm oil. In fact, closer home in Asia, one of the major palm oil producers in the world, none other than Indonesia, announced in April 2022 a ban on the export of palm oil, Indonesia. You'll find it very interesting here that Indonesia is the world's largest producer of palm oil. It reportedly surpassed uh, Malaysia in 2006, producing more than 20.9 million metric tons or about 23.0 million short tons. Right in Naglin's immediate neighborhood, Assam, Meghalaya and Manipur have also 
they have also opposed any palm oil programs in their states in fact uh, not only in Nagaland uh, not only the communities in Nagaland but even the Naga Students Federation had earlier expressed concern in this regard Next came Mizoram joining the opposition to palm oil production and cultivation in the northeastern state. Mizoram organizations working for conservation of the environment cautioned the state government that any exotic plantations, and that was in reference to palm oil plantations, would cause destruction of biodiversity and ensure ecological devastation. Interestingly, Mizoram is said to be home to northeastern India's only palm processing unit. Ladies and gentlemen, one would have believed that a local community would optimistically welcome the palm oil project because of the promise of extremely profitable economic returns a robust palm oil industry can assure. However, it has not been so. If anything, it has only proven controversial even before war began. Uh, in this explainer, ladies and gentlemen, we will examine some of the reasons why palm oil production continues to be highly controversial for local communities across Asia and Europe. Palm oil is an edible vegetable oil derived from the fruit of oil palms, ladies and gentlemen. I think you might have also come across this in our bakeries and grocery stores. The oil is used in food manufacturing, beauty products and as biofuel. One of the reasons food manufacturers prefer palm oil is because it is reportedly easier to stabilize and maintain flavor in processed foods unlike other kinds of oil for instance peanut butter oil we have coconut oil different different kinds of oil but none of it can maintain flavor and the quality of the bakery for instance the way palm oil does one can find palm, uh, palm oil in every other product one consumes uh, palm oil is extremely versatile it is also resistant to oxidization which is why it is used in most products to help prolong the shelf uh, life of food products. Palm oil is also colorless. This is one of the primary reasons why most food manufacturers and bakers use it as it does not change the smell, the quality or the appearance of the food. Now what are the reasons uh, communities are opposing and warning against palm oil cultivation and production. The first reason why they are opposing this is the increase in deforestation. Why deforestation is a common impact in all the areas where palm oil is being grown from Indonesia to Papua, Malaysia and uh, other countries that intensively engage in cultivation of palm oil. Ladies and gentlemen, in Malaysia, for instance, it was reported that in 2018, the rate of deforestation to plant palm oil trees was equivalent to about 30 football fields, disappearing every minute of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Or in other words, a total of 1,20,000 square kilometers disappearing every minute. Keep that in mind. The increasing demand for palm oil has contributed to the expansion of palm oil plantations, which has only resulted in the destruction of tropical forests to accommodate new palm oil plantations. Second, soil degradation. When you plant palm oil trees, you remove existing flora to a substantial degree. Grass and small vegetation is one thing, ladies and gentlemen, but palm oil trees involves removing large trees, which is the problem. And palm oil trees are not small. They are not there are no small garden plants. They grow to be huge, which unfortunately is part of the problem with 
trees that have to be felled if you want to start planting palm oil trees. This is extremely damaging to the quality of the soil in the ground. Once the existing flora is removed for planting the palm oil plants, ladies and gentlemen, the so soil surrounding the trees often erodes further the new younger uh, palm oil trees absorb much more valuable nutrients from the soil ladies and gentlemen this worsens the quality of the soil which leads to depletion of nutrients in the soil due to this other trees and flora around the palm trees and plantation get only low levels of nutrients uh, for this reason farmers need to use large amounts of fertilizers and pesticides to ensure rapid growth and to ensure health of each of these palm trees these fertilizers and pesticides again harm the health of the soil and make it challenging for existing flora and fauna to survive in that area ladies and gentlemen again Palm oil fields are reported to have the potential of leading to increased use, use of herbicides, insecticides and fertilizers that can enter water bodies through groundwater seepage. These would find themselves in water bodies and of course river. Uh, the reason is that um, palm oil trees consume a very high amount of water. So this affects uh, aquatic biodiversity too. It is reported that soil erosion and worsened soil quali quality have caused damage to the livelihoods of local villagers who live uh, close to the palm oil plantations. Third reason, ecological impacts include the loss of biodiversity and the loss of natural habitat for wildlife. The massive and rapid expansion of palm oil plantations in Asia has led to the loss of biodiversity and the degradation of natural habitats for wildlife. For instance, deforestation to plant palm oil trees force wild animals out of their natural habitats, ladies and gentlemen. When there are no more trees for them, no more vegetation for them to feed on, take shelter and to breed then you've got a serious problem there for our little furry friends and of course our feathered friends too. When palm oil plantations are established, animals are displaced and they have no option to move up. They have no other option but to move out of those areas to find food and when they don't, they emerge into populated areas, they starve. Number four, increased health risks to people. Due to the nature of palm oil trees itself and the efforts it is required, the special efforts it takes for its growth, the increased use of herbicides, insecticides and fertilizers has the potential of the agrochemicals seeping into the groundwater, which is the water you drink the groundwater it can cause various health risks such as certain types of cancers growth problems and reproductive disorders this uh, deforestation and harvest harvesting peas can also heighten the formation of ground level ozone that can negatively affect the health of the people by increasing the risk of various diseases peat uh, is an accumulation of partially decayed vegetation or organic matter. They are generally on the top layer of the soil. We, I think we call it mole, you know, fertilizers. It is unique to natural areas called peatlands. Uh, you can find peat in bogs and mires and moors and muskegs also. Peats serve as natural carbon sinks. Number five. Uh, increased carbon emissions, speeding up of the global warming. Of course, uh, I think this is very natural. It's not just in, to be fair, with palm oil plantations, but any other kind of large-scale agricultural production activity. But this is very specific to palm oil uh, cultivation, ladies and gentlemen. Forests store carbon in vegetation and peat. This means that the change in land use 
and its manipulation increases carbon release into the environment. It occurs when farmers expand their farming areas by converting forests into large scale palm oil plantation. This is something you, you have to remember. Deforestation destroys living biomass causing a decrease in natural carbon sinks or natural filters and increase methane em emissions too. This again increases net carbon on the planet ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again the discharge from palm oil mills has high chemical content that uh, dilutes neighboring water systems such as including yes groundwater, well water while palm oil meal effluents may be treated to a certain extent, it still contains high oxygen demand or COD and suspended solids or SS that potentially cause environmental issues. While the central and even the state governments in India, especially Northeast India, have a clear vision about the substantial potential economic gains from palm oil plantations and production, most informed communities do not seem to be too convinced for now. The wide-ranging environmental and ecological impact and the associated problems that come with them may be uh, or, or that may be caused to the people and wildlife in the long run is their biggest concerns. The matter might require deeper economic policy soul surging. This economic soul surging may consider issues of sustainability, environmental friendliness, social health viability and the general economic outlook of the livelihoods of the people if palm oil is to be a revenue magnet. I am Al Nguli. See you next time.